Hey everybody, Mr. Kaczynski with you, working through section S of IXL's Algebra 1 skills. In this video, it's complete a table and graph a linear function. Uh, lots of different things can really help you here. Number one is <clears throat> having a good understanding of slope-intercept form. Number two, I would say, is knowing how to graph um, a function. Number three, mental math skills would really help. But first of all, intercept form. You know, I know that my y-intercept, when x is 0, y is 4, or the value of the function, in this case f of x, is 4. So that might help. And then I also know that my slope is 2. That means time, every time x goes up 1, y is going to go up, or f of x is going to go up 2. The thing you got to watch out on, for on this skill is that they don't always have x increasing by 1 which changes things, but in this case we do 4 plus uh, 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, and 8 plus 2 is 10. So 1, 6, and that would be enough to get our line, but what you will notice is that all the other points, 2, 8, and 3, 10, will also fall in the line when IXL graphs it. So it'll look like that. Important to note, too, that our slope appears up to right 1. All right, let's move on to another example here. Um, this time, that negative 3, I don't have the x um, equals 0, but that doesn't mean I can't graph it. 0, negative 3, that would be right there. Okay, so I could start with the graph and not make the table first. Um, then maybe use the graph to complete the table. That might be a good idea. So our slope is negative one half. That means go down one, right two. Down one, right two. And that would give us another point on our graph, which is two negative four, which is actually this point right here. All right, um, and we can go down another one over two, down one over two, down one over two, down one over two, okay? And let's go ahead and draw our line in there now. And let's complete our table. So negative 4. When x is negative 4, y is negative 1. And if you think about that, negative 4 times negative 1 half is positive 2 and 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Uh, when x is 8, y is negative 7. And again, half of 8 is 4, but it's a negative, so negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. There's some good mental math. 10 is negative 8. Okay, 1 half of 10 is 5, but it's negative 5. Negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. All right, and you'll also see in the table this increase of 6 and this decrease of 3. So negative 3 over 6 is negative 1 half. That's our slope, negative 1 half. All right, or here, increase of 2. And this is a decrease of 1. That's negative 1 half. All right, let's move on. Well, don't get too fooled by this one. f of x is negative 2. That means no matter what you put in for x, y is going to be negative 2. So negative 2, and it's always negative 2, all right? So this would be our line. Just got to plot a couple points on there, and I will draw the line in for you. Okay, um, well, I could use my y-intercept here, okay, because they do give us a place to put that. And then I also see that my slope is negative 5 thirds. That means every time x goes up 3, y will go down 5. So that would make this 5. But again, be careful to look for that it always goes up 3, because IXL will mess with you here on this one but not this particular problem. So there we go. Uh, 5 minus 5 is 0, and 0 minus 5 is negative 5. But I would still come over here, plot the 10, use my slope, go down 5, 
right three, and there's three five, down five, right three, there's six zero, down five, right three, there's nine, negative five, yep. So let's put our line in there. All right, so we'll put the line in for you, but done deal. One more. All right, so negative 37 is our y-intercept. There's no place to put that in the table, and I also can't graph it because it, it doesn't show up. So I'm going to have to use some mental math in this case. Let's do 6 times 5 is 30, and 30 minus 37 is negative 7. Now that's a point that I can plot, 5, negative 7. It's right here. All right. 6 times 6 is 36 minus 37 is negative 1. 6, negative 1. Okay. And then 6 times 7 is 42 minus 37, and that's 5. So 7, 5. But again, you only need um, 3 or 2 points. Also, you might notice that every time x goes up 1, um, our output goes up six. All right, and that shows up on our graph right here. Up six over one. Up six over one. Put our line in there. And I actually will do that for you, like I said a few times, but we're done. All right, so I think those skills will get you through. Um, just take your time. There's lots of little places where IXL tries to kind of trick you here. Good luck. Let me know how it goes.